Apparently, I love Dual Force so much that one copy of the game is not enough for me. I need to be playing multiple copies at a time. And I've actually been doing this a lot recently off stream and not in videos just for fun. Uh, because honestly, uh, I just really enjoy the game and my brain just wants to see more and more Dual Force. Uh, and that's how my brain uh, quenches that thirst. This is a lot to keep track of in one video and it's a lot to commentate in one video. So uh, bear with me as it sounds like I'm going crazy talking about both copies of the game simultaneously. There's a notation on on the top to let you know which account is the budget account which accounts the main account yeah good luck let me know if this is something you want to see more of or not probably not because it's a bit chaotic uh but i thought it'd be a fun one-off thing to do keep being awesome and i'll catch you in the next one okay we finally found a game on the main account so i can search for a game on the budget account main account is up against a player named crisis i can't show you my full hand but it's steve trevor on the left and antiope on the right i'm gonna keep both of those cards i'm probably keeping super strength in this case doesn't really make much sense to. We could go Detective Chimp. He's very safe on turn one. And then we could Super Strength Steve Trevor on turn two. That works out quite nicely. Yeah, I guess we just keep this whole entire hand. There we go. There we go. We found our game on the budget account. We're up against the Wonder Woman Zatanna. So almost the same matchup. Not quite. It's uh, Zatanna Aquaman on our main account. And then Zatanna uh, Wonder Woman on the budget account. The budget account has an opening hand of Harvey Bullock and Azriel on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan away the Azriel and the Queen Hippolyta. And on turn one on this account, we're going to go Detective Chimp. Again, Zatanna Aquaman. So keep that in mind for this effect. Probably running the Aquaman recruit, but probably also running Steve Trevor. Realistically, uh, any single one of these cards, and in fact, every single one of these cards are probably in the opponent's deck. So we're taking a 33% chance here, no matter what we select. I'm going to select the Steve. Actually, I'm I'm going to select the Steve. I'm going to select the Steve. Nice, we hit the draw card. I almost selected Aquaman there. Let's go ahead and end our turn on the budget account. Um, oh my god, I've already got uh, confused between the two hands there. I was like, wait, I could have sworn we had uh, an Antiope, and we don't, because the Antiope is on the, the main account. We'll go... Oh god, what am I going to go? Steve Trevor turn one? It doesn't look great, but I think it's probably our best play. We're just going to Steve Trevor on Wonder Woman uh, end our turn. On this account, our opponent just played Steve Trevor. They've buffed up Aquaman, so Aquaman's using his ability next turn. Let's go Super Strength to clear this. Super Strength to clear off Steve. Uh, and then we can go, I guess, Antiope in the middle here. Makes it really hard for him to clear either of our recruits. Even if he hits something like Nergal or Belial, he's going to have a hard time of removing anything here. So he's going to need some uh, hard removal that's actually in his deck. He's not going to be able to do anything special with his leaders here. Energy Blast killed off our Steve Trevor. How unfortunate is that? We're going to go Harvey Bullock, I think, with no target, unfortunately. Uh, and then Wildcat to, to buff up our Harvey Bullock uh, here on the right. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Hopefully we don't get end turn bug. Oh, I think we got end turn bug. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, fantastic. Uh, some people are equating the end, turn, uh, the end turn bug that sometimes happens in game with deploy effects that don't have a target that need a target. So something like this. Um, but in this case, we didn't get the end turn bug. So that must not be what it's related to. Uh, what happened here? We got hexed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then opponent used the gift of Nabu. That's honestly the worst news that we got there because gift of Nabu gives him uh, a lot more options. He's not able to trade into Detective Chimp here. Detective Chimp's going to live a little bit longer, which is great. Opponent on the budget account is also seeking out uh, a magical spell and playing a superman robot okay superman robot and a magical spell blue devil um okay and then over here what happened wildcat got played onto the shark and this is an obvious bat signal turn right we're just playing bat signal what else are we doing with the turn uh i mean there's a really good line here i like playing robin uh, I guess we'd rather protect Green Arrow. So we go Robin, we go Bat Signal on the Chimp because we don't need Chimp to do anything this turn. Uh, and then we go uh, Wonder Woman Effect. May the gods grant us their favor. And then I think we take this punch. Makes sense to me. And we'll hold on to Green Arrow's effect because we're not playing his arrow this turn anyway. Okay, uh, what's going on on the budget account? So they still have a magical spell in hand that they didn't play. They have a blue devil behind enemy lines that we probably want to get rid of. We can get rid of it relatively easily. Let's go ahead and use green arrows effect, see if we can find an arrow that makes a difference for the turn. Do we, do we, do we? We find a boxing glove arrow. Um, no, it doesn't really make a difference for this turn. 
uh, because this, the same result happens. Uh, so we can probably take the steel one, but the steel one's not much better. I kind of just want to keep the boxing glove arrow, knowing that it's not really getting a ton of value here. Actually, we could play Super Boy instead of Green Arrow, and then it's getting value. So we could go like Boxing Glove Arrow here, and then we can go uh, Super Boy here to protect Wildcat. Uh, Boxing Glove Arrow hit Wonder Woman, so Wonder Woman's using her ability a lot of turns in a row here. Wonder Woman uh, ends up. Uh, she can attack Blue Devil, actually. So Wildcat can go here, and then uh, Wonder Woman can kill off the Blue Devil. What's going on on the main account? Oh no! Uh, uh, what happened? Okay, the shark attacked our Antiope. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, we should have used Antiope to clear this, because that was always happening anyway. I lost a little bit of track. That's probably a play I would have made if I wasn't playing on two accounts right now, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Commentating this is much harder than just regularly playing on two accounts, by the way. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, we only have a silver resource available to us. I kind of want to go the Boxing Glove Arrow. Oh, I forgot to end my turn on the budget account. Fine. Uh, Boxing Glove Arrow does quite a bit for us here, actually. The thing is, I don't really want to spend the resource on it this turn. We we could go Steve Trevor. Let's go with Titanium Explosive Arrow and then just not use... Um, yeah, and then just not use it. Uh, oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, my God. So many errors just because of... Uh, the situation playing on two accounts is very difficult. All right, Wonder Woman effect. We'll use Wonder Woman effect to clear the Anglerfish. Fantastic. We'll go Batman to clear this. Uh, and then we want to start putting damage on Aquaman, I think. Aquaman's going to end up being our biggest threat, I think think uh but i could easily be wrong about that we could use oh no i shouldn't have used green arrows effect oh wait i've already used green arrows effect this turn how silly of me we've got so much charge on that green arrow uh speaking of green arrows we're probably playing green arrow here on the other account uh with no target unfortunately but it's probably our best play maybe we should have held it but we're, we're likely to top deck a silver card anyway so maybe this is just fine we use wonder woman's effect because we have access to wonder woman's ability again next turn and on this case we want to focus down uh zatanna because she's more likely to get value over time uh where aquaman's probably more likely to get value over time than zatanna on the main account wow there's a lot to keep track of doing this when i'm not commentating this it's actually much easier uh but uh commentating it is, is much harder because not only do i have to actually keep track of everything that's happening i have to keep track of everything that's happening and communicate uh that tracking uh aquaman removes our evades we don't have evade on this there's a visual bug on this so we got to keep in mind this does not actually have uh evade so this is less safe than it appears um oh we have a potentially really good explosive arrow here especially if we can find like another arrow to ping away uh the effect so let's do that actually let's just go for another arrow um we get a uh, radar arrow, which is really good here, but still repeating arrow is probably better because we get access to a free removal the next turn. So we go uh, repeating arrow for that. And then, oh no, I'm actually trolling. No, 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 wait, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oof, I almost uh, did really bad stuff that time, but it's fine. I was going to hold this repeating arrow. Actually, you know what? I will hold a repeating arrow. We don't need to, we don't need to use it now, so. We can just uh, take this. Oh, I didn't need to. I could have buffed it with Wonder Woman. I'm losing track of too many things. I'm trying to make sure I'm ready for my next turn uh, on the other account. But it's fine. Let's kill off Aquaman uh, and move on to the other account and focus on, uh, on the game that's going on over there. Uh, what is going on over there? They have a 5-5 five, five and a 4-5. One with shield and one with aura. Oh, we drew a fantastic card. Um... Let's quickly take a look at what we got from Green Arrow, because it might change the outcome. Opponent uh, conceded on the main account there, so that's good. Uh, we hit Explosive Arrow and Steel... Uh, no, two Explosive Arrows. Uh, not not great, not great, not great. Uh, I guess we'll keep the Explosive Arrow that deals four for now, uh, and then we'll go Truth and Justice. Truth and Justice will use uh, Wonder Woman Effect. Uh, this is always going here, I think. Uh, green arrow to ping this. Oh no, I should have done Queen Hippolyta first. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Um, this punch here. Uh, then Queen Hippolyta. Oh my god, I can't believe I messed up that order. And then Superboy, uh, there to close that game out. We'll wait to queue on the main account. Actually, we'll get queuing on the main account now because the main account's gonna take a while to find a game, so might as well have that queue in the background while we, uh, close out the rest of this uh, budget account game. Let's get in a queue for the next game. Let's go. Finding match while we finish out the budget account game. We see uh, the Duke come down. Duke doesn't really make a huge impact here unless he has some other combo to go with it. Duke does three. And oh, another one, but it's still not enough. Oh, no, no, I just got confused. I thought there was uh, two effects here, but this first one is the uh the actual card and the second one is the recruit and then queen hippolyta is just not enough so i assume opponents just uh, essentially conceding here by punching into superboy so we'll take this punch here for the ambush and then punch here for the game wow gg okay 
uh, I'm going to wait until the main account finds a game and then we'll start looking for an account. Uh, so we'll start looking for another game uh, on the budget account. All right, we found a game on the main account. Let's get searching on the budget account because that'll take a lot less time. We're up against Jace360 on the main account. Main account, we're versing Superman batman uh that's a bit of a rare one not exactly sure what to expect from that i'm guessing we're gonna see both the gadget package and the shield package most times when people are running superman it's because they want to run lois lane so if they're running lois lane they're probably gonna be uh, running a lot of shield stuff uh, as a result of running both gadgets and shield stuff i'm expecting there to be re relatively like mid-rangey uh maybe leaning a little tempo oriented but i'm guessing it's going to be uh closer to mid-range we're going to keep uh, th this card here on the far left by the way is nightshade the one on the far right is uh, super strength we're going to mulligan the super strength and the straight jacket actually we can keep the super strength because we have nightshade uh that's really good actually uh free to play account or budget account i should say uh is gonna hard mulligan everything the card on the far left is super strength the one on the far right is a uh, swamp thing so we're gonna mulligan absolutely everything in this hand and try to find something a bit better oh my god we brick with three gold cards uh, the silver card's not as bad people sometimes uh, aren't happy to see silver cards in their hand but honestly guys it's not that big of a deal the problem here is though that we hit uh three bronze cards i have full faith that we're going to be able to bring it home anyway though uh, we're up against a harley quinn poison ivy i assume that this is going to be an arkham inmate list uh, it also might just be the default deadly divas deck so we can keep that in mind as well uh we're getting some pretty bad frame rate right now because my computer's running a million different programs uh including two copies of dc dual force uh, which is probably not good uh for any computer okay let's uh see what do we have Oh, we're going first over here, so that's unfortunate. I was excited to get a new card draw, but we're not getting a new card draw. That's fine. We're going to go Nightshade here. Uh, next turn's almost certainly just John Diggle, Super Strength, regardless of what we draw. Maybe Bat Signal's going to turn out to be a better play uh, based on the current board state. We do see a Shield card come down, so maybe that's uh, in line with our expectations that we were talking about before. Prometheus goes down on the left-hand side again, in line with our expectations of the opponent running an Arkham inmate list. And possibly the Deadly Divas list. I don't actually remember what's in that deck at all. It is super strength with no targets. That's unfortunate. Both super strengths were in our opening hand, so that's really not good. We're going to go super boy, super strength next turn. So that's going to be a nice setup once it's down. Uh, but for now, we're going to be quite slow. But that's okay. Hopefully, we can recover. Jimmy Olsen and Harvey Bullock. Okay, so yeah, this does seem to just be uh, kind of your average uh, shield deck. He's just thrown in all the shield things. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and search for an arrow. Should have played John Diggle first. Should have played John Diggle first should have played john diggle first uh that's fine though uh we have a silver bronze turn coming up maybe we go john diggle next turn maybe we go john diggle next time we go john diggle queen hippolyta so we could do um still repeating arrow for removal in the future and then for now we can go like bat signal super strength which kind of looks a little bit weird because we're applying bat signal and then doing nothing uh sorry we're applying super strength and doing nothing with the attack but really what would we be attacking we would just be attacking a shield unit anyway so i think this is fine opponent has developed quite the board on uh the budget account here black mask into partners in crime that's a pretty unrecoverable board state but maybe we'll find a way opponent seems to be targeting uh queen uh I was gonna say Queen Hippolyta, but it's uh, Wonder Woman. Oh my god. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Green Arrow's effect here. Try to find an arrow that can clear away that black mask. That's really important. We don't find one that can clear away the black mask. We do find uh, a boxing glove arrow though. So I guess we take that uh, and we'll go Super Boy here. Uh, and we'll go Super Strength. I do think we need to use Wonder Woman's effect uh, to attack uh, Prometheus, even though we're not really making any progress with that. The will. Oh no, we hit Wonder Woman bug. She can't attack. Oh, that's really quite unfortunate. Uh, okay, the budget account is in a little bit of trouble right now, but hopefully the free-to-play account can bring it home for us. Batarang clears off our uh, Nightshade. That's fine. I mean, we have a much better response to this than what we do on the main account. Oh, sorry, on the budget account. God, keeping track of these uh, accounts is hard work. We got Batman. So I guess we're going Batman, John Diggle, Wonder Woman effect seems to make sense i have no idea what's going on on the main account oh sorry on the budget account we'll go take a look at that in a second thankfully batman does have hunter so we can go clear off that queen hippolyta we can use wonder woman to clear off the superman robot and we've more or less stabilized on the main account how about the free-to-play account free-to-play account does not look so good there goes our green arrow oh no oh no what happened to this prometheus oh it's a new prometheus um he ritual sacrificed the first prometheus i think no what happened to this Prometheus? How did it heal? Oh, right. We weren't able to attack with Wonder Woman. I remember now. I remember now. 
Uh, we do need a way to kill off this black mosque or else we are in big trouble. Big, 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 big trouble. What can I say? There's the Superman effect on the Batman. I would have noticed that if I was paying attention to this game more. I would have noticed that was happening. I might have played around that. Maybe I wouldn't have. Who knows? Uh, let's go this because we need to. We just need to clear stuff. We just need to clear stuff. Let's get stuff off the board. That's all we can do in this situation. Even though it's going to be really hard to stabilize from here, we might just be able to pull it out. So might as well try. Let's go for the end turn. What's going on over here? I mean, we're also behind on this account. Uh, let's use Green Arrow's effect. Green Arrow's effect finds us Steel Repeating Arrow. I kind of just want to spam these Steel Repeating Arrows everywhere. It's not quite a board clear, so maybe it's not worth it. In fact, yeah, we're not going to do it. But I will take the Steel Repeating Arrow, even though I don't have uh, the intentions of using both of them this turn. We'll go Robin. We'll go Wonder Woman effect. Wonder Woman effect to clear this one, I guess. And then we'll use one of the Steel Repeating Arrows uh, on Harvey Bullock. Okay. That's looking good. He can clear off Robin, uh, but it's going to require attacks from everything uh, that he has. A Queen Hippolyta can live through it, but that's fine. Next turn, I think we're just going to go our own Queen Hippolyta and then Truth and Justice. And Wonder Woman does die uh, to whatever board state happened on the other side of the board. I have no idea. I was too busy watching uh, the main account. But uh, we, we got pretty unlucky on the free-to-play account there. You know what? Because I think this, this game here on the main account is going to take quite some time, we're actually going to queue another game on the free-to-play account. Uh, and then once the next game on the free-to-play account, or the budget account, I should say, uh, finishes, then uh, that'll be the end uh, of this video. So... Let's see how this goes. How's the opponent responding? They use Batman's effect. They still have their two resources available to them. They've only got three cards in hand, so I think we're going to win the attrition game here. It's going to take us a little bit of time to actually kill off Superman and Batman, but I do think we're going to, um, to win the board here and then ultimately win the game as a result. The budget count does find its opponent, and we're going to be versing Wonder Woman Shazam. Okay, that's very different. Very, very different. We have Minotaur going down. Is he going to kill off Robin here? It's an option. Looks like he is going to go for it. Uh, we will keep the super strength in hand. No, we won't. It's not It's not correct. It's not correct. I really don't... I really want to keep it, but I don't think it's correct. We have Steve Trevor and Superman Robot now in our opening hand. This is a much better start than what we had last game compared to the three golds. Uh, ooh, there goes our Robin. What happened there? Um, yeah, okay. It's, a, it's about what we expected to happen there. Um, uh, it's just steel and truth and justice, right? Yeah, it's always steel and truth and justice. Let's just do that. Truth and justice is a huge card for us. Let's just make up some pretty crazy board states. Well, I was going to say Queen Hippolyta again. We'll get Wonder Woman take the bulk of the damage here by attacking Queen Hippolyta as opposed to attacking Jimmy Olsen. We're going to end our turn on our budget account. We'll just go Superman Robot uh, and end our turn. All right, enemy turn on both accounts now. Like I said, I think the main account's more or less stabilized here. I don't see how it loses from this position. But I've been wrong before. Stargirl goes down on turn one for opponent on this account. That's fine. We have a Steve Trevor to clear that. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Can we find another good bronze card to play? No additional bronze card. We could be really, really greedy and Steve Trevor... Oh, excuse me, Steve Trevor on uh, Green Arrow to generate a, a resource-efficient card, but I don't think there's much reasons to. We'll just go for the Wonder Woman charge here. Use the Wonder Woman charge uh, and then clear it because we can always use Green Arrow's effect next turn to generate something resource-efficient because at the end of the day, we're going to have a bronze resource next turn uh, regardless. We'll go for Shazam here because he's the more long-term threat. Uh, what's going on over on the main account uh we're gonna go mr miracle to protect green arrow queen hippolyta to buff up our boys uh then uh yeah then wonder woman effect the gods grant us their favor. steal for this trade uh and then wonder woman effect to clear this and i'd say that it's time we start punching i mean we just keep killing batman I don't think we're scared of Superman at all. Sure, he's removal, he's and he's free removal for the opponent, but we have better free removal in Green Arrow, so I think we'll be fine long term. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me. Oh, opponent surrendered on the uh, main account. I was not actually expecting that, so I'm going to take the time here in between turns to set this up as the main scene because I don't want you to look at a split screen uh, and we're not going to queue another game on the main account because that would be a little silly at this point. 
Okay, there was probably a weird transition there. I probably just skipped a bunch of stuff. Uh, Shazam used his effect. That's all you really need to know uh, at this point. Uh, we don't have a bronze card, so we're going to go green arrows effect to look for a bronze card here. We're looking for either a boxing glove arrow, something that gets two damage on the board for us. There you go, that'll do it. Uh, we'll do explosive arrow, and that actually works quite nicely because we can do Commissioner Gordon here. We're hoping that the squad car, someone's here on the back side, so we can protect the squad car with Commissioner Gordon. Doesn't quite end up working out the way we want it to, but it's fine. We can just trade that in. Holy, I was going a million miles an hour before. Now everything feels significantly more relaxed. Oh, whew. I can collect myself, collect my thoughts. My brain can focus on one thing. Feels nice. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll ever do anything like that again, uh, but unless you guys really like it, I don't know. It is a lot to keep track of, that's for sure. Energy Blast on our poor Commissioner Gordon, getting no value out of our evade. There's the Freddy Freeman. Okay. So, uh, it's probably just another Commissioner Gordon. Oh, the lightning bolt's kind of bad for us. Well, it's still probably just Commissioner Gordon, Queen Hippolyta, Wonder Woman effect, and then two things are going to have to get traded into Freddy, which is kind of a shame. Well, not two uh, things are going to get traded, but two uh, attacks are going to have to go into him. Let's go Commissioner Gordon again using the same logic. We're hoping that squad car goes back. Oh, actually, we don't want the squad car to go back there. We want Queen Hippolyta uh, to go back there. Uh, and then we'll go for... Uh, the gods granting us their favor. We could just ignore Freddy, but it's relatively greedy, and I don't think there's much reason to. We win the attrition matchup, so let's just force it into an attrition match. Oh, you know what I need? I need the in-game music. Oh my god. No, it doesn't turn on mid-game. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I had the music of this game turned off because it was obnoxious having the music on on both copies of the game. Uh, and, and now I can't get the music back. I'm so sad. I'll add, uh, the main menu music in the background so you guys aren't as, uh, stuck in the void like I am. Alright, let's go green arrow effect. Find some removal here. We can get a gold one, which is, uh, rare. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess we're still going the explosive arrow. It doesn't feel as good, but it is what it is. I guess we're going Harvey. Harvey explosive arrow. Sure. RV Explosive Arrow clear. It doesn't feel great, but Shazam doesn't have any good targets on his turn, and that's really what matters. Shazam's gonna end up using his effect on Wonder Woman. That's how bad the targets are right now. I mean, he probably just uses it into Harvey Bullock, but it doesn't feel good from opponent's perspective, and they have to use Shazam's attack because they need to shuffle their lightning bolts in. I mean, they could hold on to it, and maybe that ends up being correct for them, but... They're going to feel obligated to use Shazam's effect because it gives them six lightning bolts. It's so many lightning bolts. I mean, Hippolyta, okay, with no targets. That's a good start for the turn for us. Perhaps not for the opponent. Energy blasting away what? Oh, he's just pushing for lethal on Wonder Woman. I suppose that makes sense. That does make sense. We're probably just going to use... I'm not sure how we're going to kill the queen, actually. I think we'll probably do... Speedy. Oh, there we go. We got music back. Oh my god, we're definitely doing this. We're going speedy. We're going truth and justice. Truth and justice buffs up speedy. Just big enough that he can kill Queen Hippolyta. Uh, and now we can do essentially whatever we want. We have 12, uh, 16, 18 damage so we can kill off Shazam. Even though I don't think this is correct. I think we should actually put this damage on uh, Wonder Woman. But whatever. Let's kill off Shazam. And now what does Wonder Woman do? I mean, this is obviously game. Opponent is in a top decking scenario. I guess they could top deck. How many would they need? They would need 11 lightning bolts in a row. It is possible. They have more than 11 in the deck, I think, right? They've used Shazam's abilities twice or just the once. They used Shazam's ability last turn. And then I think they used it earlier in the game, right? Yeah, there's the first Shazam ability. And... Yeah, and then there's the second. So there are more... Oh, okay, well, it's Clark Kent. That's... You know, that's why... That's... I mean... If there... If, if there was ever an example of why Clark Kent isn't the best card, uh, I think it's that right there. Uh, opponent does just lose on board. We just use the green arrow punch here. Commissioner Gordon punch. Queen Hippolyta punch. And 
Harvey Bullock to close out the game. Man, GG's, what a fun session that was. I, again, I'm pretty sure I'm never going to do that again, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Keep being awesome, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.